This tutorial goes over how to calibrate the RetroTINK 4K to play PSP content on original hardware. As with other tutorials in this series, the RetroTINK 4K is an advanced scaler and you should read up on more information to learn how to use it. I'm linking the PSP section of the RetroTINK 4K wiki so you can read on. This tutorial requires a PSP 2000, PSP 3000, or PSP Go. These are the only PSP models that output 480p to a display. It's recommended that you get OEM YPBPR component cables for this process. Before you do anything else, you can find a PNG of the 100% SMPTE color bar pattern in the link below. You will need to add this to your PSP memory card so you can calibrate colors when that step comes up. To start, on your PSP, make your way to Settings. Go into Connected Display Settings and do the following. Set Component D-Terminal Output to Progressive. Select Switch Video Output and select Yes. Open the RGB Component ADC Setup menu on the RetroTINK 4K by pressing the ADC button. Set Samples to Line to 3432. Set Decimation Factor to 4. Now, hit the Phase button on your remote to activate the Automatic Phase Calibrate function. This should give you the sharpest possible picture from your PSP. Open your photos and select the picture with the 100% SMPTE color bars and hit the Gain button on the remote. This will calibrate your colors. Load up a PSP game. Make your way to the Crop Scaling menu by hitting the Scale button on the remote. Adjust Trim until you hit the edges of the available picture. If you look down at the horizontal and vertical factors, you should see the input resolution at 480 by 272, which is the resolution of PSP games. You can now trim the top and bottom two pixels in any combination until the input resolution becomes 480 by 270. Make your way down to the scalar settings on this page. Set aspect correction to 1 to 1 to get square pixels. At this point, if you are using 4K or 1080p output, you don't do anything else, as the PSP should take up the full screen with the sharpest possible output at these settings. If you are using other output resolutions, change the scaling mode to autofill integer for the sharpest possible picture from your PSP. These settings are specifically used for playing PSP games once the PSP has loaded up. The PSP menu uses the full 720 by 480p canvas, so you may have to adjust trim to fit the whole image on the screen for other purposes. You've now calibrated your RetroTINK 4K to play PSP content. Enjoy your games.